A dazzling performance on the accordion, Evans Kinga is playing music from celebrated composers in the gospel world using this unique instrument. A technique like this one takes a huge level of skill based on years and years of practice. However, for Evans, the ride has been smooth despite his visual impairment. Music gives him a sense of peace. Whenever I play music, whatever kind of music, be it accordion or piano, it calms me. It makes me feel so good. Evans has been visually impaired since childhood. His right eye cannot see at all. His left eye, however, has a small amount of peripheral vision. He can only see shapes and figures. Clearly, not enough to see well, but this gentleman has never been challenged. Evans Aripozariwa, Niripo Mtazama, when I gave birth to Evans, he did not have eyeballs, and this got me very worried. But the doctor assured me they would grow once he was 18 years old. And it came to pass because when he turned 17, his eyeballs grew and I realized he could see, though not clearly. Born in the Kenyan coast of Mombasa, Evan started learning music at a tender age. But it was not until he was eight that his family discovered how gifted he was. He started singing even before he could talk. Whenever he finished eating, he would hit the plates, which produced a musical sound. That's when I knew that God had blessed him with this talent. I then believed that despite him not seeing, music would become his source of livelihood. Years later, his hard work has paid off. In 2010, he was recruited to join a band dubbed Playback. Playback has 15 members in its ranks that are either physically or mentally challenged. The idea to form the group was inspired by the now defunct Norwegian music group Milestones, known for reforming the attitudes of Norwegians towards people with disability through music. The Playbacks recently launched their first album, Come Together, which has 14 tracks. The reason as to why we, we started Playback, it is because in Madare we've seen a lot of people being locked because of disabilities. Some, some of them are being like an outcast from their families and all that stuff. So we started working with Madare Special School, of which it is kind of difficult because it is a government school. And this encouraged us maybe to, to work with the parents themselves. And that's when uh, Playback was born. That is in 1998, in, in, in the year 2008, sorry. Evans is Playback's musical director, and with this title comes more responsibilities. He's been teaching music at a nearby school for a year now. Today, he is taking these students through one of his favorite songs, Bless the Lord, O oh My Soul, by singer-songwriter Matt Redman. Our music teacher is called Mr. Evans. He doesn't like those who are always absent in class. He likes the pupils who are attentive. There was this day that I was absent. So when I came to class the next day, he confronted me. I decided not to ever come to class, but after thinking about it, I decided to be attending his classes because they helped me. The eldest of four siblings, his father divorced his mother while he was still very young, 
citing his blindness as the reason. We are free and the his mother works in a local hotel where she earns just enough to keep them going. She feels that parents and the government alike have a duty to take care of the vulnerable. My message is that we should not use our children for business, putting them in street corners to borrow in their name. If we take time to find out what they love, then we help them. And if we parents don't see, someone else will see and help out. The 28-year-old, who holds a certificate in computer studies, is fluent in Braille and uses a white cane to walk. He is currently writing his songs to be released later. His job does not pay, although he receives transport allowance. As he strokes his accordion gracefully, Evans has proved that his life is not all doom and gloom. A rose could as yet spring up in the midst of thorns. Thank you.